Well, there was a study out of the UK and they were looking at um, intakes of um, children from like age 10 to 18. And what they found is that children that were 10 years old had already had as much sugar in their lifetime as a recommended limit of an 18 year old. Because even like our dietary guidelines, you know, recommend not more than 10% of your calories coming from sugar. I don't really think anybody is going around and calculating that, but really what they're, they're recommending is trying to reduce added sugars. And um, many um, small children who are up to age 10 are really exposed to a lot of sweets in their life. Um, you know, even having, you know, they're drinking sodas at young ages, they're having candy on a daily basis, or having a lot of sweets. So I think it's really important, the parent's job is to expose their kids, instead of trying to be the sugar police, is expose them, their palate, to lots of different flavors. So when they're hungry after school, instead of maybe cookies, um, do they want something sweet? Maybe it should be, you know, yogurt and bananas or apples and peanut butter. Some of the experts, and I agree with this, um, recommend that when families serve family style a meal per se, that maybe a few days a week or even every day, maybe, th maybe they put something out that's a little bit sweet and it kind of brings down that, wow, you know, um, if you finish your dinner, you'll get dessert, you know. The dessert is maybe out there as part of the meal. Maybe it's a little bit of chocolate pudding or it's an oatmeal cookie or something. It's not that big of a deal. If the parents have time, it's really nice if you can make some of your own products. So for example, uh, making muffins with kids. You can make muffins, and I'm not saying they have to have no sugar, but you can use things like ripe bananas and pumpkin and things to sweeten muffins. And there's a lot of recipes where you can use a little bit of honey or maple syrup or less sugar and fruit and really pack a lot of good things. I think the main thing is to not chastise them. I mean, don't go and sneak out the ice cream when your kids aren't there. You know, you need to be a role model too.